Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today we are looking at another farm roguelike. This is a very interesting indie roguelike game that is all about farming or maybe not so much if you play different builds. Um, it's a very fun but very confusing game. So I thought instead of just running into it headstrong and not really knowing what I'm doing, I spent a little bit of time playing this and I thought I would share with you what I found out and kind of give you some tips and tricks as we go along the way to see if you possibly want to play the game yourself. So you have multiple different classes that you can choose from here. You can see all sorts of variants. You've got random as well. And each one of these has their own boost. I'm going to start with the merchant. He starts with a thousand, um, has some extra shop slots and inventory slots. And, you know, it's pretty good. You also have a choice of how long you want to survive for. I'm going to just choose medium for one. I'm not going to do the survival of the whole six weeks. Instead, I'm just going to talk about it and then and then get out of it straight away so what do we have we have a big old island we can see here uh lots of different resources stones coal all sorts water and different fruits and vegetables that we can harvest we also have on our left hand side what we will get at the start of each week um a quest dude and he will ask us for things and we can get rewards now these can be ignored they're not gonna kick you up it's literally the only thing that you have to worry about is the end of the week here payment day and you can see here that i need to pay 750 dollars by the end of this week and then as we go on to the further weeks it will continue to progress and make more money and more money and more money until you're like paying 25k a week for some unknown reason all because of your farmland you also have this little green bar here. This is your energy. And then if we press escape, we can open our menu. and We've got all our different tools. You can go into the backpack. You can go to the shop. You can buy some stuff here. You've got the build section where you can build things. Crafting where you can upgrade your stuff, which is super fun. And then the prices of all the different things that you're going to sell or possibly, you know, just keep on you just for the sake of it. So how do we start? Well, in my opinion and everyone's going to have different opinions, the, the best way to start is to upgrade your tools for the first week. Now, it's a little bit more difficult if you're not the merchant because, of course, you need to make 750, but you'll be able to make that money anyway. So what do we do? Grab our handy pickaxe and beat the crap out of some rocks. From that, you'll get to round about 20. That's what you want to be looking for, at least anyway, in the first day. And we got ourselves 20. From that, we can then go into build by pressing escape and going into build. Grab ourselves a furnace. You can kind of put the furnace anywhere you want, but I kind of try and keep it out of the way because I want to be turning this stuff into farm plots later on. We'll grab ourselves the hammer here and we can bomb -bo -bo and make it. Now, if you are silly and you misplaced it, don't worry. You can just hit it with an axe. That's going to cost you energy, but you're going to get all of your materials back. I'm doing that for showing purposes. I've wasted a bit of my energy, but it's not too big of a deal. So we'll make that again, but -ba bam and then we're going to go find ourselves some copper. We're going to go find ourselves some coal. We hopefully want enough for both. So I'm just going to beat up this rock and get that. And then we can then pick the copper by pressing tab and switching between these and then putting them in there. And that's going to cook. It's going to come back the next day and it will be a bar. So I'm going to waste the rest of my energy just doing things. So more than likely bopping this rock until I can. And I've got nothing left. If I can then look at my inventory, don't have enough for anything else. We're okay. We also forgot to mention um, each one of these days you get different things. It's part of the roguelike experience. You're going to have to make sure that you want to be using these when you can. Sad faces or or kind of discerned faces normally are terrible and the green ones are kind of OK. So you can see here consumables gives us more stacks or we've got food poisoning. Wonderful. I just got a huge bounce of food poisoning this week. Lovely. So we're going to go into the next day. All of our energy is gone, and then boom, we get our choice of upgrade. It's the upgrade day. Wheat flour bread value increased. When catching a fish, you have fifty percent. Um, you have a fifty percent chance on an alchemy item. Okay, and then beetroot, cabbage, and carrot value one hundred percent. I'm going to take the beetroot, cabbage, and carrot value, and then we're going to right click this and grab our copper bars. So what I can do there is go over to my crafting and then boom, I now have a copper pickaxe. Now this copper pickaxe is going to use less energy when I'm hitting things, which is going to be amazing because the next thing I tend to do and what you should really do for your first couple of days anyway, I'm going to grab some iron here, grab some copper here, grab some stone here, is generally just upgrade your tools. Now you want to probably in maybe a couple days from now if you need to make your money make your money for your rent but 
for now, we can just get some iron, put some iron in here. I need some more iron, come to think of it, actually. So let me just find some. Iron, or are you? Did I really get... I was going to say, I did not want to believe that I got so terribly shafted, but you can do. And it also is sometimes a good idea, definitely when you're mining these stones and everything else, make sure that when you have... I think it's about 30. 30 or so stones. To make yourself a mine, because once you run out of stones, you really won't really be able to get much more resources. So this mine you can see here, it will, from wherever you are place things down so i'm just going to put it in an area that's kind of clear mm, i'm gonna just put it near the furnaces for now and we can dig up this coal and then build this but -da -da -da. it's not going to be built fully but that's okay and we'll get the iron here and we'll put more iron in here too and that's day two complete deep 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 boom beautiful all right so we've got ourselves some iron i'm going to quickly just rebuild this mine so we can have it later on and i'm also going to bop this down because this is gold and the next thing on my list as you guessed it is gold so you can see iron pickaxe next and then you have the golden pickaxe here so that requires five i have two forges these can hold six each or three each even and then boom that's going to give me enough gold for the next thing indeed after that we can kind of go around and uh, do what we need to make other materials so we've got enough energy we can go around build some more things i think mainly what i want to be doing is getting as much stone as i can if there is any more stone let me just grab them here Ba -do 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 -do. wonderful stuff and here too and we can make ourselves more than likely at least one more um one more furnace but i think two would probably be the best idea so let's have a look. Oh, I can make three if I just bash one more rock. Lovely. All right, let's get this gone. Furnace, furnace, furnace. I, I'm very sorry for making such a shape, but it is quite a powerful shape indeed. And we're going to get, I think, one more set of copper or two, and then we can lob these in here, and then we'll, from that, be able to... Oh, I need coal. That would be smart, wouldn't it? Boom. And then from that, be able to just fill up the rest of these. And therefore, we'll be able to work on the next set of tools. So in my opinion, more than likely, switching to hammer next. And then from that, going for the for the hoe and shovel. And then start round about this day, day four-ish, five-ish, right? You want to you wanna possibly be also making yourself an axe and everything else. So we can now craft... Upgrade the golden pickaxe, and then we can upgrade the axe. I don't have any iron, because I am a genius. There we go. And we can also go and bop this, get some coal. Now that we have the golden pickaxe, mining isn't actually going to be too too big of a deal. You can see that the mine here has created some stone for us. And then we, we have the ability to kind of just fill this stuff up with whatever we need. So gold, uh, the rest of my copper, doo -doo -doo -doo, and then whatever else I need here. Go! Cool. And from that, basically, you have all your tools set. The next thing you want to be doing when making like a decent farm or, or thinking about it anyway, let me just get my axe here. You want to just be clearing down a general area. And then with that, with your build, you want to be putting down a sprinkler and then using this. Now, don't worry if, you, if you've put the sprinkler down here. You can actually, once you've built it, bam, I can't, I'll show you next day. Like I said, I'm just kind of expressing to you what you, what needs to be done. We'll make that one up. I would have actually upgraded the hammer. You can rotate it. So this sprinkler will now carry over this whole plot. Part of doing that, you also want to be making sure that you have um, a scarecrow. To get a scarecrow, you need grass. And the simplest way of getting grass, and I think the only way of getting grass is, let me just upgrade this hoe here, is hoeing the ground. Boom. Bump, bump, bump. And you can see we've got grass here. And then from that, we then have the ability to build ourselves a scarecrow. I'm just going to get enough grass to show you. Here we go. And now we have a scarecrow. And you can see here with the scarecrow, it still fits in the same amount of space. So you can, you can have it around about, I think it's here. We can actually, you want to replace that one. So I'm just going to axe it. Can I axe you, please? Thank you. There we go. And then from that, actually build it in the correct area. 
There'll be one more down. You can see, there you go, beautiful. And then have another one over here. And, and focus on basically clearing out the area that you need to clear out and then having the spot set up for said hoed material. And then from this, you can use your shovel, which you will hopefully have upgraded by then. Collect a lot of sand, do, 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 and then have yourself the ability to buy seeds. To buy seeds, press escape, head to the shop, and then buy whatever seeds you want. You can actually go and check your upgrades. As you saw, I got the beetroot, cabbage, and carrot upgrade. So technically, I would probably want to be looking for those ones, right? Yeah, beetroot, cabbage, and carrot. So I could just grab these. Can shift, right click for this one, and then grab all these. Grab my seeds. Where are they? Here they are. Boom. And then tomorrow, these will all get watered, and over the course of the next couple of days, they will grow. From that, you then want to be kind of figuring out what you want to be doing with your build. Do you want to be um, making a lot of things with honey? Do you want to be going into these build sections and making cloves? Getting a seed machine is always great because then you'll be able to recycle a lot of your crops and get more seeds from them. You can go down here and you can start doing cooking. And then this is maybe where you want to start doing some of these quests. These guys want flowers. Um, if you go here and double check the build, we've got a bee house. And from the bee house, you can then get um, bees, put the flowers down and you'll get honey from it. If you want to then turn honey or anything into a jar, you need to be making bottles. And you can see from crafting, you need glass here. If you check the, the, gra the crafting materials to do that, you just put sand in the furnace. Who would have guessed? Um, absolutely intuitive and most of itself. But like I said, this game has its levels. It's very, very charming. It's very, very fun. It's very intricate. And there's multiple synergies that you could be putting into this game. It's just about learning how to get on and doing it. Uh, general run cycle, I reckon, of like uh, one of it would probably be like 45 minutes, maybe an hour. It could push into that if you're if you're not very speedy. But it's definitely um, a, a hidden gem that I wanted to just show off a little bit and then explain bits of the game. So if you found that fun, if you seen if that seemed enjoyable to you, then definitely go and check it out. Um, I'll put the links below with regards to where you can find it on Steam. And if you had more questions to ask or if you wanted me to see uh, play this game on the channel, let me know. Maybe I can show off a couple of different things of the builds. For instance, if you wanted to... Um, I'll tell you this now, I'll I'll drop out and we'll go into the me. If you wanted to to get a very easy win, because you're feeling like it, um, head down into the old regular mode and where is this man? Here he is. Get the fisherman. <laughs> like no joke. Just get the fisherman. Look, oh I've got no money. Grab the fisher boy and just absolutely go ham. And then you could just go into uh cell and you'll be fine. I promise you'll be fine. Um, just upgrade as you go along. Oh, I forgot I've missed these guys too. Boom, I'm very close to rent already. <laughs> and that's how you do it. Anyway, if you want more tips and tricks on this game, let me know. If you have any ideas that you want to see on the channel, give me a shout. Um, with that, I am Dom. You have been great. I'll see myself out. Have a wonderful day. Goodbye.